welcome to this video, right? Very, very excited. I am very excited to do this video because it is the very first time that I have ever got a Forge World model. I've heard stuff about Forge World models, I've heard mostly good stuff. The bad stuff I've heard is kind of that you have to put a little bit more extra work into the model. And from what I've seen with this one, it definitely, I definitely understand that now, that how much extra work has to go into just preparing this model. But, um, I got, I got, uh, let me start off with this. I got a birthday voucher for Forge World. I said, I was looking at some scale and stuff on it. I was like, I think I'm ready to get a Forge World model. It's been, I've never really looked on the website. It's just, it's always kind of been there. I've never been too interested. But... I have the new Vermin Lord model, I have the old one in the metal, and now I want to get the Forge World Vermin Lord, so I have all of them, and so I got the voucher, I got the model, and now I have it right here, and uh, it was a tough choice, it was either going to be the Vermin Lord or the Brood, the Skim Warrior and the Brood Horror I think it's called, and um, I, I was always pushed more towards the Vermin Lord, but the brute hard guy, it just it was something it looks so different from what's normally in a Skaven army. That's why I was kinda of pushed on getting that one. But in the end I had to go with him. I had to go with him. Look at the box, you can't even see it. You can't even see what's in it. It's I'm so excited about this. I opened it up already, I've had a look at it. God, there's a lot of work to be done to get this guy ready. But what I'm wanting to do with this model, where is this gonna stand in my army on my shelf? When I look at my army, I don't think of like army lists and all that stuff. I kind of put it like I'll show like later on. Like I have a big shelf of like scale my scaven models. And where do I want to see this guy on that shelf? I'm gonna share that with you guys near the end of the video. But for now I'm just gonna do an unboxing of this. His full name is Warp No Vermin Lord. Now if you haven't seen this model Look it up on Forge or before you look at this or after whatever. When I look at this painted, he looks amazing. I don't know how there's not more of this guy, more models of this guy out there. I know it's pretty expensive. It's like, oh uh, well, what is it? 54 pound, including delivery, I suppose. But he's awesome. So um, enough babbling from me. Let's open this box and have a look and see what's inside. All right, so. If you guys haven't done a Forge World model before, this is like new to me as well. I've opened this box and I've had a look at it and everything. But I was like, I completely forgot that like, like these, this isn't like a normal box. So uh, what I'm going to do is open up here. And I think it's packed completely different from what you'd normally expect from a GW uh, model. So here we have our Forge World, a guide to building resin model kits. Uh, so it kind of goes over, which is like really important. Like you have to kind of like bend the parts back into place and everything. Um, it really is like a, a hobbyist uh, thing to do a Forge World model. So let's uh, let's have a look at the big one. I think I remember what's in this big one. Let's have a look. So we have our baggie. We have our Forge World bag with all our parts and all. Let's have a look. Now for some reason I always thought that like resin was fragile. Maybe because it bends. It can well, not bend but like warp. But it's not, it's pretty thick. Let's have a closer look. I'm super excited about this. Now here's the base. I'm not too sure what size this is. But I'm probably gonna change it to like the bigger circular base that I use on Tankwell and Bone Ripper and the other Vermin Lord model I have. It's like way too big, but why not? So we have, actually, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to scoop these to the side when we come back to them because I wanted to kind of show where each piece goes and have a look at it properly. We're going to have to have a look at this guy first. Look at this guy. Look at this big lump of resin on the bottom. That is a cement block and a half. Look at that. But here he is. This is Warpna, I think his name was. Warpna Vermin Lord. He is a beaut. Let me get as close as I can. There is so much detail on this. Even the feel of it. It's kind of like, not greasy. But it's like a, like a real kind of slimy, greasy feel of it. Not slimy. But look at the details on this guy. He is awesome. Uh, let's, have, let's start with the face. Let's start with this side, right? Because he looks normal. He looks pretty cool. Nice kind of pose he's going to be in. 
Uh, all the scaven markings on his face and everything. Look at this little piece of flash of resin hanging down here. Um, you know, the pose is nice. His feet are in a cool position. He's up. He's arched over the kind of the room piece and everything. But when you flip him over, and then you get a better look at his face, it's all scarred with from like warp stone, and there's like lumps of warp stone sticking out of it. Which is like really badass. And he has like a big lump stone, a big lump of warp stone sticking out of his chest and everything there. The whole base here is covered in rats running up along it. We have kind of your shield and a few rats along the base of it. And um, plenty of flash to clean off. Look at all the bits in between his leg. So I'm going to have to really take my time to make sure I distinguish uh, parts that's like not flash. Because it, it could be an easy mistake to make. Like right here. Where was the piece I was looking at? Yeah, here. Let's see if I can get it. If it will go on the camera. Like the kind of bit of cloth comes down here. That little small piece. It like just like it bends with the folds of the skin here. I thought that was a bit of flash when I first looked at it. Is it going to pick it off? Thank God I didn't. But he's a big guy. He is a big guy. I wouldn't. I don't know how much. I think he'd be a little bit smaller than the new Vermin Lord models. Um, maybe just a little bit shorter. Maybe not actually. I'm not too sure. But he's looking good. He's looking pretty awesome. I can't wait to get it off this big lump. So I can like put him standing up properly. Um, and then, 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 then now we come to this piece. So we have his arm here. This is his right arm, which obviously just it's a reaching out arm. There's nothing in it. Really nice detail on the skin and everything there. The nails are actually kind of really sharp and pointy. So that kind of goes on his right side. And the left side. You have like way more lumps of warp stone sticking over. It kind of has like a horn and everything sticking over here. Which is really awesome. Bit of flash. Uh, the tail, which I have to be really careful with, because I don't want to make sure I don't want to cut any of the flash bits up, or cut any of the tail bits off, thinking it was flash. Kind of the whole big lump here going across. I want to be super careful with that. But this was a bit confusing. I was like, "What the hell is this?" I was like, "Is this just like a random piece of like flash bits?" But no, there's spikes that go on his back, all the way across here. So that's going to be a fun little thing to do. We have his horns, which I completely forgot he gets. Very reminiscent of Loki's horns in uh, in the Avengers. So they go right above here. You can see there's kind of two divots there. But I'm not sure. I have to have another look, but I'm pretty sure one of these is like warped a bit. It has to be up like that. Maybe one is meant to be a little bit curvier than the other. But I'm going to have to look that up. So now we come to my f one of my favorite parts of the model, which is the staff he holds. Let me get a closer look. Because this is so big, and it is warped, I think. Uh, I think the blade is warped. It's not exactly dead straight anymore. It's kind of a bit off to the right. But again, it's full of detail. There's so much stuff on this. It looks really nice. I like how it kind of has like the rough look where it's like held together with tape and the blade is barely held on and everything. And here you get a look at his left hand. More warp stone sticking out of it, because why not? And then probably my favourite part of this is the... Uh, I don't know if it's the top or if it's the bottom, but it's one end of them. Big lump of warp stone with two blades sticking out of it. Absolutely amazing. It's such a pity that I didn't get this guy earlier. I really... Well, maybe if I had gotten him a few years ago, I don't think I would have been as prepared to like put this guy together and get him ready and everything. But uh, like, over the years, like doing models, you know, it definitely puts like patience on you. So I think I'll be way more prepared to do this now and not rush it. Like maybe spend like an hour or two like getting this part ready and just working on each part individually. As as opposed to Russian, I really don't want to, but I absolutely love this guy. I can't wait to put him on a big base and get him all built up and everything. He's going to be so awesome. So now that we've had a proper look at him, 
Where am I going to put him on my shelf? Like, what am I going to put him, like, just with a bunch of clan rats? Am I going to put him on the end, kind of, with some, uh, what's the big guy's called? Rat ogres? No. This guy is going bang center in the middle of the shelf. This is going to be the centerpiece for my army. The center, what I usually, what I want to use for my centerpiece is the metal vermin lord. Right? That is a, probably my favorite Skaven model, the old metal vermin lord. But this, I want this to be my centerpiece. Now the Tankle and Bone Ripper model I've been working on, that's pretty close to being the centerpiece because it's going to be so big and such a big scale base and everything. But this is going to be built up even more. I want this guy to stand out across. He's the the pose is so dynamic. He looks so awesome. One half of him is all like warped on, messed up, and everything. You know, I want to do a really good job on this guy as well. So he's going to be the centerpiece for my Skaven army. He's going to look. He's going to sit smack bang in the middle of the shelf there, and I hope he'll be the first thing that anyone will see when to look at my army. So if you guys like this video, if you think, hey, let me know if you guys have done a Ford World. Uh, model before I know a lot of prep goes into it a lot of cleaning a lot of washing up like clean the stuff off the model and everything I, I was watching videos on that but this is like a uh, this is like a real hobbyist stuff I think because f you have to take your time you can't just like clip 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 clean 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 paint 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 and glue 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 this is like oh it's gonna take me like a whole night just to kind of clean the uh, the sprue off them and, and all the flash and everything but uh, let me go off, let me know if you guys have worked with a forge roll model before I'm super excited this is gonna be getting built I'll probably do a few live streams of this like just cleaning them up but uh, that's that doesn't sound too exciting but that's what I'll probably do but uh, make sure let me know what you guys think in the comment section below make sure to hit the like button as well and subscribe if you haven't and once again thank you for watching this video and I will see you guys in the next one